it's Heather from Caliber Plan, and I'm here today um, talking about a very fun subject. I am doing my Go Wild reflection. So I know it's a couple weeks late. I meant to do this like right when I got home from Go Wild, but I mean, Go Wild hangover is real, and it was like so hard to get back in the swing of things. But I'm back, I'm here, I'm good to go, and I just want to take a minute to reflect on the amazing weekend that was Go Wild. So, if you don't know what Go Wild is, it is a planner conference, a creative conference for women well and men I guess men could go to there were some men there and it is put on by the planner group um, on Facebook the group on Facebook is called wild for planners so if you're not in that group go check it out and on Instagram they are no I'm sorry on Facebook they're not wild for planners on Facebook they're planners gone wild I think I said it backwards Facebook is planners gone wild their Instagram is wild for planners um, and it's put on Two, the two girls who mainly headed up are Jeanette and Amanda. They're amazing, and they know how to put on a kick a, I won't say the bad word, but an amazing conference. And so the this was its third year. The first year it was in New Orleans. The second year it was in Nashville, and this year it was in Austin. And I really, really wanted to go to Nashville. I didn't go to New Orleans because I didn't hadn't really heard of it, but saw a bunch of pictures. Thought it was amazing. Really wanted to go to Nashville, but it just didn't work out with the timing and stuff. Um, but, um, I knew that I had to go to Austin because I live in Dallas. So Austin's only three hours from me. So when I saw that it was in Austin, I was like, I don't even have to fly. I can just drive. I have to go. So I told Matthew, like, I have to go. He was like, sure, fine, whatever, go. So bought a ticket. Tickets went on sale in January. I think that's typically when they normally go on sale. They've already announced that next year's in Vegas. And so typically... I think at least the past two years tickets have gone on sale in January. So you want to follow them on Instagram, be in the Facebook group so that you don't miss it if you're interested in going. Um, background information, I know people are going to ask. I think this year's ticket was like around $530 before taxes and fees. Something like that. It was around that price. I really don't remember the exact amount. Which I know sounds like a crazy amount of money for a planner conference. But you got all of your money back in swag. If you're someone who's into swag, like you, the swag exceeded the ticket price. So um, the ticket only includes the conference and one snack each day. And then it in includes entry to the Happy Planner Happy Hour and Plan Jamma. So that's what the ticket includes. I know people are gonna ask, but it was amazing. So I just wanted to kind of talk about my experience there. Um, I might pop a few photos up here in the corner as I'm talking. Just, it was amazing. If you want to see the swag, I'll put a link in the description so that you can check the swag out. So, I got there on Thursday. Thursday was check-in. I left early Thursday morning and I actually stopped at my brother's house before I went down to the Hilton. It was at the Hilton in downtown Austin. Because my brother lives in Austin and I really wanted to see my nephew, sneak in some nephew time. So, I hung out with them, played with them, went to lunch with them. And after lunch, I headed down to the Hilton and I met Marielle from Mom and a Girl with Plans. If you don't follow Marielle, this is her. She's my planner bestie. You should follow her, she's amazing. She lives in Round Rock, which is just outside of Austin. And so we met up and we went to the event together. And so we got there and the first thing we did was we tried to check into our room, but our room wasn't ready. We were staying at the Hilton. And um, so we went to the meet and greet. Stephanie and Kayla from the Happy Planner were doing a meet and greet and so we went there to meet up with them, find out what the plans were for that night because we were helping them with the Happy Planner Happy Hour that night. So kind of found out like what time do we need to be there? What do we need to wear? Stuff like that. Um, then we checked in, got our all of our Go Wild stuff. They gave us a bag, a t-shirt, a lanyard with like a little card with our name on it and some Christian Design swag in the bag. And so by that time our room was ready. So we went back downstairs, checked in, took all of our stuff upstairs and then we got dressed and ready for the Happy Planner Happy Hour. And we barely had enough time to eat. We ran downstairs to the, there was like a little cafe restaurant in the lobby. Marielle and I met Sparkle down there. If you don't follow Sparkle, she's awesome. Sparkle Creations on Instagram. I think it's actually Sparkle underscore creations on Instagram. She met us down there. We grabbed a quick pizza just from this restaurant. Ate, ate it like the fastest pizza I think we've ever eaten. And then by then, Stephanie and Kayla came down to meet us. And so we left the four of us and walked to the... Happy Planner Happy Hour. It was on 6th Street. 
and I can't remember the name of the bar that it was at, but it was like the biggest bar I've ever been in. It was huge. It had like a huge downstairs with pool tables and ping pong tables and foosball tables and all kinds of stuff. And we we're like, this is amazing. And then they were like, you should see the upstairs. And we're like, oh my God, there's an upstairs. So we went upstairs and there was another bar and there's like a whole nother room over here. And there was a dance floor with a DJ. It was awesome. There was a button bar where you could get these really cute buttons. I'll try to post a picture. I don't remember if I have one. And it was really fun. And so we got there a little bit early before it started. Then it started. We greeted everyone. Yeah, welcome to happy hour. And then we basically spent the whole night dancing and having fun. It was just blast. We got to meet so many people. Took a lot of pictures. Did we learned how to um, line dance? That was fun. I was terrible, but it was still fun. And just danced and sweated. It was really hot, but it was a lot of fun. Just tons of people. I mean, plan our babes and know how to party. So we left there at about midnight, and Stephanie was like, "Um, we need to go to Voodoo Donuts because it was right across the street." So we were like, "Okay." So at midnight, we go across the street. We get these huge donuts. I'll put a picture of the one I got it up here. I mean, like the biggest donut I've ever seen and so we went back to the lobby sat in the lobby for another probably hour eating our donuts and just chit chatting so by then it was like 1 1 30 in the morning finally go upstairs I'm a night shower who's a night shower some people shower in the night some people shower in the morning I shower at night if, at least I do if I have to get up early because then I get to sleep a little bit more anyway so I took my shower went to bed well the next morning Friday was the first official day of the conference and people are crazy sorry something just fell People are crazy. They line up so early. And so people lined up like I think the doors opened at 730 and people started lining up probably at 6 a.m. If not before that. So we stood in line with Rachel and Marissa. We actually stood in line with them both days. Um, they are her underscore thrive on Instagram and her decorated mess on Instagram. Um, and they actually both live local to DFW. So I already knew Rachel before. But anyway, stood with them, chit chatted, then the doors open. And oh my gosh, it was insane. It was like herding cattle like I literally just stopped walking and just let the crowd like push me through the door it was crazy so you get through the door and everyone's just like running to their tables because on the first day all of the tables are sponsored by different companies or different shops and like you get all this swag on your table and so Marielle and I really wanted to find a table that didn't have tons of planner supplies which I know may sound crazy but we get so many planners and stickers from the happy planner that we literally like didn't need anything else so we like purposely found a table that had other stuff so the table we sat at had a go wild mug and a notebook and like lots of just really functional stuff really cute this is what our table looked like this is the swag we got super awesome I'll tag the shops if I can remember them all that donated to our table in the video below by the way if you are a shop owner who donated to go swag you're awesome because that's crazy how much swag you would have had to donate anyway so we got at our table and then we're, you just kind of have to chill because you got in there like, I think it was like an hour before the event even started. Um, so we're just hanging out, getting to know our table mates. It was a lot of fun. And then um, they started. And so Amanda, one of the girls who runs the whole thing, got up there, was like, welcome, woohoo. And so then um, Erin Condren was the first speaker. She was really cool to hear. She talked about just her story and the tough things she went through to get to where she is and how she started a paper company in the middle of like the Facebook boom and it was really cool to hear her story and then after Erin Condren was the workshop with Mika Allen she was really awesome so Mika Allen is on the planner society's design team so we got these really cute um I don't think mine's over here but we got these really cute little traveler's notebooks and she did a little workshop about how to decorate your traveler's notebook which I really enjoyed because I've never had a traveler's notebook before so that was a lot of fun and then after Mika was a little uh snack break I think was the snack break next and then after that Emily Lay spoke and she's the owner of the Simplified Planner and so that was really cool just to hear her she talked a lot about like setting boundaries and saying no and really focusing on what's important and not all the extra stuff I really enjoyed her speech and then after her was Heidi Swap, which I mean Heidi Swap killed it she was amazing if you ever had the chance to go listen to Heidi Swap, do it like she talks about memory planning and why it's important to tell your story and record everything, even the dumb little things, because one day you're going to want to remember it. She talked about her mom who's going through this illness where she can't communicate, but like how the scrapbooks have really like just been amazing to their family. She talked about losing her son and like 
grieving through that by memory planning and continuing to tell her story. I mean, there was not a dry eye in the room. It was amazing. And so like, seriously, so cool. So she was, she might've been my favorite speaker of the whole weekend. She was just so good. And so then after that, um, they wrapped up the day and the Erin Condren scavenger hunt started, which the scavenger hunt was at the domain, which is like a shopping center in Austin. And um, you could take a bus over there. They had wine. You could go to this whole scavenger hunt. Well, Marielle and I were like, mm, no, we're not going to do that. Not because we didn't think it sounded cool. It sounded really cool. But we were exhausted. Like we had been up since we we didn't go to bed till like 1 30 and then I think we got up at like five to get ready so we were just so tired and we were supposed to go to lunch with Stephanie and Kayla and take them around Austin but Stephanie texted us and was like we're just so tired and me and Mario were like we are too so we all took naps it was amazing a glorious nap in our hotel room it was raining we like me and Marielle had shared a hotel room, closed the curtains, took a nap. It was glorious. Um, and plus, we didn't really feel like we were missing out too much because it was, it was in Austin and Marielle lives in Austin and I'm close to Austin. So we're kind of like, like, there wasn't really anything in Austin that we just had to see. So I feel like I'm talking really fast. I'm sorry. So um, we did that. And then when we got up, we really wanted to open this bottle of wine. So we went up to Stephanie's room to get a corkscrew because we didn't have one. We ended up we went up there at like I think three and we ended up just staying till nine o'clock. We ordered room service. We just all laughed and cut up and had a great time just chilling, eating food, drinking wine. It was amazing and lots of laughter. And then we went to bed early. I think I was in bed Friday night by like 930. I was exhausted. And so then Saturday morning is another day. You got you got to get up early, get down there. You don't have to get in line quite as early because Saturday's kind of a free for all. You can sit wherever. There's not swag on the table. So you just get there when you get there. So we, we got there early because we wanted to have a front row seat because Stephanie was speaking on Saturday and that was like, we really wanted to see that. And so um, we got there and the first thing Saturday, who spoke first on Saturday? Oh, it was the planner panel. I was like, who was it? It was the planner panel. So it was like um, Cindy from Llama Loves Letters. It was Jen from Jen Plans. It was Amber from Damask Love. It was Diana from, I can't remember her Instagram name. And then it was um, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Nope, that's not her name. The girl from the day designer. Whoever created the day designer. I can't think of her name. It just left me. But they were like a planner panel where they asked questions and it was like a Q&A session with some famous planners. So that was really cool. Oh, Belinda Celine was there too. So planner panel. After the planner panel was Chrissy Ann Designs um, workshop. So she did a workshop. It was like a memory planning workshop with her products. Really cute stuff. And she also announced that she's going to be a Michael store. So that's huge. It's like the first llama store. By the way, llama, if you don't know that, that's what the go wild people call themselves. They call themselves llamas. And it's like their mascot. It's like everything is llama themed. Um, so she's like the first llama store to be in Michael's, which is really cool. Super excited for her. After that was another break. And then it was time for Stephanie. Stephanie killed it. She like told the whole, she kind of told like the whole Mambi story intertwined with her story and intertwined with why planning is important and why you can choose to plan a happy life. And you, the words we speak to ourselves are really important. And all of that, she did some sneak peeks of the new kids line and the new Be Happy box that's coming in June, which should be pretty awesome. We got to see that Saturday. It's so good. I should have taken pictures. Damn it. Um, so then after Stephanie was Dasha from, she plays Deja, De, Daya, Daya in Orange is the New Black. So she uses a happy planner, if you didn't know that. And so she was the keynote speaker. So she talked about how planning is important to her and she talked about just her experience as an actress that was really cool so then after that the session ended and um Marielle had to leave to go help her daughter with a dance I was still exhausted I went back to the hotel room and took another nap and then after that we we went to the domain with some other planner friends we did some shopping we ate dinner then we went back for plan jamma Got to hang out with a bunch of people at Plan Jam. I met a lot of people, took a lot of pictures. I got to meet Dasha and take a picture with her. That was pretty awesome. So then that was the end of Go Wild and it was over and um, it went by so fast. And then Sunday morning, we kind of slept in a little bit and then we went to a happy planner event at Michael's. 
um, where she Stephanie released the kids line and kind of showed it up close and personal. And then we went to lunch with Stephanie and Kayla at Torchy's Tacos. And then it was time to go home. And then I drove home and it went by so fast. But it was amazing. Like to meet your planner friends in person and really like get to talk to them and get to know them and become real friends with them was amazing. And to hear all of these inspirational women who are just like you and you and me. And they are just like incredible women who have taken all of the things that life has tossed at them and and made these huge successful businesses was just so inspiring to me and like so much of things that they said were things that I needed to hear and it was seriously just the most empowering most uplifting weekend you just make these connections in real life with these ladies that you've known on the internet it was amazing if you can go to Vegas next year, you need to go. Start saving your money now because the ticket price has gone up every year. So there's no telling what the price will be next year. But I don't even care what the price is. I'm going to go. I'm going. It's a weekend that you can dedicate to yourself. You're doing it for you to better you, to lift yourself up so that other people can lift you up. It's amazing. So that is my Go Wild Reflection. And if you have any questions about Go Wild, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And yeah, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button and happy planning.